exciting day for Marshall softball. Uh, look in the front row and I see Dot Hicks here. And what, what an amazing day it must be for her as you look at the first ever former Marshall player to lead Marshall softball program. Um, won't keep you all long, but uh, did want to go over a, a few things. I'm going to go through introductions really quick. I will speak uh, and then introduce Mr. Christian Spears, and then we will uh, move forward uh, with Morgan Zirkel and, and through the rest of the press conference. There will be a media portion at the end uh, of Ms. Zirkel speaking, and then we'll peel off and be able to have one-on-ones for media here in a few minutes. Uh, like I said, I've known this one for such a long time. Uh, very exciting day, and here to speak about the new coach of Marshall University is our athletic director, Mr. Christian Spears. Thanks. Thank you, Grant. You know, I love green jacket days, right, because it means we are going to introduce an amazing person to the Marshall family, someone that we all already connect with in so many different ways. Uh, let, me, let me do this real quick. Let me recognize the chair of our Board of Governors, Jeff Shields. Hi, Jeff. How are you, sir? Thank you for being here. Uh, and, and, you know, on behalf of Brad Smith, you know, we, uh, we're bringing another amazing person to Marshall. Uh, you know, our, uh, Deborah and I did the, uh, did the airport interview with Coach Circle, with Morgan, and because she's playing professionally, and we had to fit it in her time frame. And the, the portal was closing on Thursday, right? So we, we had some work to do to, to get with her. Our flights, of course, got delayed. So uh, Brad and, uh, and Morgan got to do FaceTime together in Chicago uh, ahead of the interview process. Deborah and I had planned for it to be her and I having a great conversation, and then midway through, I'd have the president call in. So I got to hear Brad and Morgan connect and, and on that call, and so did Deborah. And the maturity and the responsiveness and just the, the genuine person that I heard speak with our president, I was done after that call. I didn't need to ask her another question. I knew she was going to be the person we needed to lead our softball program. Uh, and then as I was preparing this speech, it dawned on me, like, how many people's name ends in Zirkel, right? A, a Z, right? So I was telling Dot, I was teasing with Dot, I'm going to do an A to Z. <laughs> on Coach Zirkel, right? So bear with me. We'll go quickly. Deborah wants me to go in six minutes, so here we go. An unbelievable attitude, right? Everything Morgan does, she brings a phenomenal attitude to it. A belief system in herself, in the people that she's surrounded herself with, in her family, in this community, in this program, that we could not find anyone who had that same belief system a commitment to this region, to this place, to the people affiliated and associated with it, a determination that's just second to none. If you've seen her around second, heading for third, you better watch out, right? This person goes. An effort that is simply extraordinary. Everything she does, she pours herself into it. A familiarity with this place and our people and a connection that is so genuine and real. She is flat out a gamer, right? And if you're gonna win ball games, you gotta have a gamer all the time. She's home. We're home. This is who she is. This is where she belongs. She's super inspirational, not just for us as the people who know her, but for the student athletes that she's going to serve. She is an inspiration to those young people that she's going to pour into. She plays with immense joy, brings immense joy to it, and I, I know our student athletes will play with that same kind of joy. Her knowledge is unbelievable. The people that have poured into her and have given her the skills necessary to be an amazing coach uh, and, and the work she put in to have that knowledge, the leadership that she flat out has. You don't have to have experience to be a leader. What you need is people to follow you. We're going to follow Morgan. Her student athletes will follow her too. The moments that we're going to create together. You know, uh, our marketing campaign on campus came up with Marshall Moments. I can tell you right now, our softball program is going to have a ton of special moments with Morgan's leadership. Her network. You know, a national team coach called me, the Washington head coach, about Morgan and how special she was, telling me what a no-brainer it was. You know, I, that's my alma mater, the University of Washington. So when you get a call from the head coach of your alma mater, you listen. And, and her network is extraordinary. This opportunity, she's been working towards it all 27 years of her life, right? 
but here we are, and she's embracing it wholeheartedly. The passion that she has for this sport, for young people, for coaching, you can, it oozes out of her. You sense it and feel it. She is immensely qualified for this opportunity. It doesn't always happen where a young person figures out what their goal and their dream is and then sets out to make it a reality, right? And then she attempts to draw all the qualities necessary to do it. Her rapport, not with us, not with her family, but with her student athletes and the kids that she's gonna pour into. I've seen it firsthand uh, and, and I know that will continue. Her sincerity. Do, does anyone doubt when Morgan tells you something, the sincerity of it? I know her family knows this firsthand. Her toughness. Right? That is flat out who she is at her core. This is a tough person who is going to go through some ups and downs like we all do, and she's going to rally through them. There is no question. This is an unbelievable hire. Right? There's the you. And I like to say unbelievable a lot. So the team, when we were developing your A to Z, yeah, unbelievable. Super vibrant, cares about this program, an absolute winner, right? An absolute winner, and she'll help us do that. The X factor, Andrew Brown came up with that one. There's no question, like you're an X factor for what we're gonna do. You know, and at the end of the day, she said yes. The fifth coach in the history of Marshall softball, Morgan Zirkle. Well, they convinced me to write something down. I was just gonna kinda go with it, but um, I also know how much this school means to me, and I thought, maybe I'll get emotional, so maybe i write it down just in case. But hello, everyone. I am truly honored to be the head softball coach of Marshall University. Marshall and the people here have developed me into the person, the player, the coach that I am today, and there, there was a lot of development that happened. Um, I'm forever grateful for this university. It was my dream to play Division I softball, and Marshall gave me that opportunity. Marshall provided a way for me to get drafted to play professionally and to get a tryout with Team USA, which was another dream come true as well. Marshall showed me what career I was really interested in, interested in developing young women like myself. And now here I am living out another one of my dreams as you know the next Marshall head softball coach. So, Thanks to A.D. Christian Spears and Deborah and my family. And also a huge shout out to this community because I, I do think, you know, maybe you had some influence in my hire as well. Um, I definitely felt your love and support and cheering me on through this process. And I know you'll continue to do so, which is awesome. Um, I hope to serve you well. Um, my student athletes, the community, this university. Um, I hope to be a servant to all of those people. And I'm looking forward to building, building upon the strong foundation Marshall Softball has. You know, the vision that he has for softball and baseball and all of our sport programs um, is, is really, really exciting. And I'm excited to be a part of that. I hope to help Marshall Softball accomplish things that have never been done before. Um, you know, I accomplished a lot here, but there's a lot we have yet to achieve as a program. And I hope to pour into that and influence our student athletes as well on and off the field. And that's, that's really where I want to have the most positive impact is um, developing them as Marshall developed me. Um, so I want them to have the incredible experience I had and graduate as strong, confident women ready to chase their next dream as well. Um, Marshall is my home, and I cannot be more thrilled to be returning with the privilege of leading the Marshall softball program. So thank you again, and go Herd. Again, the fifth coach in Marshall softball history, Morgan Zirkel. Questions from the media? How close are you putting together a staff? I'm pretty close. I think I have two of the three positions pretty locked down in my brain and some really good recommendations for, for that third coach I'm looking at.
Yeah, this is always going to be consistent, Paul, and, and something that Deborah and I have been doing uh, while we've been together, you know, at so many different f stops along the way. And does the person have a sincere connection to the place? Does the person have a sincere connection to the people in our community? And what is their passion and what is their purpose? And do they know that? And Morgan actually hits every single box. It never happens that way. It is hard to find someone who actually has a sincere connection to the place, a sincere connection to the people in the community, knows her purpose, and has an enormous passion. Morgan does all of that. It was an absolute no-brainer because she fits right into our philosophy on bringing great people to Marshall. Well, I knew the UNC coach uh, position was open, and I knew um, Coach Smith was an alumni of that program. So that kind of gave me an idea that maybe there was an opportunity that may arise here. So I just kept an eye on the job and what was happening and what you were hearing, you know. And as soon as I saw that she got hired, I reached out, and I knew immediately this is where I wanted to be. So that was an easy decision to pursue. <laughs> No, there absolutely was. But, you know, this community told me who to hire, right, on multiple different occasions. If I could count the number of emails, direct messages I got, texts, e even dear friends who are like, what are you doing? Like, hurry up. What's going on? Do this, right? Uh, board members, the president. Yeah, it was, uh, this is the quintessential no-brainer. But you do want people to go through a process. You do want to see how someone manages and stands up on our own two feet. I can tell you what, we left that room that day with Morgan, so impressed by her. Uh, again, like I was ready to hire her the moment uh, she finished the conversation with Brad. Uh, ready for this opportunity. She's ready for this opportunity. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? All right. Thank you all very much. For media members that want to come this way, we'll have a one on one portion over uh, in behind this green backdrop. Thank you for all being here today. Good job, buddy. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. All right.